Hi, this is Paul Solt from iPhone Dev TV. I want to show you a trick on how I capture Xcode and create videos for my iPhone courses. So I found this tool, it's called RDM. It's a user interface that's wrapped around another tool. And if you search for RDM Reddit, I know my screen's really big right now. I'm on a 27 inch Thunderbolt. This will give you a, a link to this application. And if you click on this, it'll download it and you can run it. So I have the app running right now and I'm using that in conjunction with another app called Display Menu. And you can get Display Menu on the App Store. You just type Display Menu. And this app was created by one of my friends who worked at Apple with me when I was there. And this will allow you to toggle between things. So I'm not sure on the exact cost. I think it's a couple dollars. And this is really useful because it gives you access to setting different display things. Now, one of the problems is that this one does not work well with the Retina high DPI modes that I like to work in. And so that's why I used this RDM app. But I actually have to use them both in conjunction because I really like quick access to mirror displays. So what I'm going to try and do is do mirror displays, and I'll show you how I can get my monitor, which is currently at 2560 by 1440. That's the native resolution. And what I want to do is I want to go to a high DPI or a retina sort of resolution. And that means we're going to be dropping down using RDM to this 20, um, to 1280 by 720. And this will be high DPI mode, which means all of my user interface elements on the screen here are going to be twice the size. And so let's start with the mirroring displays. And you need to be plugged into a Thunderbolt or another large monitor for this to work from a Retina MacBook Pro. That's my current setup. I don't know how to do it with other computers. Uh, and I, I really think you need the Retina screen to force this to work. So I've got the screens mirroring and the next step is I need to tell this monitor to switch into 1280 by 800. I can't switch directly into the 720. So I'm going to try and resize. And now we are in the, the 1280 by 800, but that's the wrong aspect ratio I want for my HD recording. So I'm going to switch over and force the retina screen to jump into the 720 format. So this is going to be 720p and it's going to be high DPI mode. So if I click this, it forces my monitor to jump into that mode as well. And so now you can see the extent of the video has changed. So now I'm in a high recording format with the high DPI. All of my user interface elements along the top are bigger which makes it easier when someone's watching one of your videos. So I do a lot of work with Xcode and this just makes Xcode twice as big so that you can see what I'm focusing on and, and really take full advantage of the full screen experience. So that is how to switch into a higher res mode. When you want to switch out, just turn off mirror displays. And if you use a, a separate user account like I do, generally it will save your display settings so that you can just swap in and out of the accounts and you'll be good to go without having to reset everything.